Hi, this is Janice L. Blake here, and today I'm going to show you how to properly wrap a horse's leg with a vet wrap. We have someone here of note holding the horse. This is Braulio Baeza, Hall of Fame jockey. Say hello, Braulio. The thing about a vet wrap is you have to be very careful the way that you wrap it because you could make it very tight on the horse's leg, and then the horse has no way of getting it off its leg, and you could really injure the horse's leg um, by doing that, cutting off the circulation, as well as a cat or a dog's leg or anything that you're working on. So I want to show you how to put this on without injuring the animal. So what you do is you have a little piece of gauze to put on the wound. This horse doesn't have a wound, but we're just going to pretend like he does. And you take your uh, ointment here, and you have a piece of cotton with your vet wrap. You never want to put a vet wrap directly on the horse's or the dog or cat's leg or body part. You always put a cotton, a piece of cotton in between. So you take the ointment and you put a little bit on the gauze pad. You don't want to put it on your finger and then put it on the gauze or, or, the, or the horse's leg because you're just introducing more uh, germs. So you put a little ointment on there and you stick it on wherever the horse's uh, alley is. And you get this uh, piece of cotton here. And I just pulled apart this cotton from a, a, a large sheet. So one side is raw and the other side is smooth. So you wanna apply the smooth side to the horse's leg. And you always wanna wrap in a clockwise direction. You always want to go this way, like a clock goes. You never want to wrap them this way, counterclockwise. So we put the ointment on there, and then you make this as smooth as possible, because we all know what it's like to have a sock in your shoe that is all folded over, right? So you try to make this as smooth as possible. This is a little longer than this, horse, uh, this horse's leg. So we'll pull, the, we'll pull the extra cotton off at the end. So you start out like that. And this is the vet wrap. It's wrapped in plastic. If it's not wrapped in plastic, it might be a little dried out. So you just be careful, don't use an old vet wrap. Make sure it's, it's new and fresh. So the thing about a vet wrap is it's very, uh, flexible, like spongy almost. You want to start always on the cannon bone. And, and again, that's so that if, uh, you know, the horse doesn't feel any bulk underneath where you wrap it. So you start, always start in the middle of the cannon bone and you pull when the tension is around the cannon bone. So you pull the vet wrap and you go around, get to the other side, and you hold it with the with this hand, with the opposite hand, and then you pull some out, and then you pull it tight again. Not not really really tight, but you just stretch it out a little bit, and then you go around again. And you don't ever stretch it out and and stretches and stretch like across the tendon like this. That'll really mess up the horse's leg, and it'll cut off the circulation. And, and the same with cats and dogs as well. So. You always want to pull when it's on this side across the cannon bone so that the bone will help uh, not, not um, make it so tense. And you come around, bring out some more of the wrap, and then pull it again, go around very gently around the soft tissue, and then with the bone, pull it again, Go around the soft tissue very easily, and that's how that's how you use a vet wrap. And you bring it out. You you never never make it really really tight because it'll cut off the horse's circulation. So, and then once you have it on initially, then basically it sticks to itself and you don't really have to, to make it uh, really tight 
really tight tight it'll just kind of stick to itself so you just make it very very gently like so and at the end it sticks to itself so you just kind of go like this and that will that will uh, stay on itself like this and it's it's not really super tight but it's not loose and loose where it's gonna slide down and then this extra cotton you just pick it off like this and this goes for any kind of wound that you're that you might be wrapping but we just happen to have a horse's leg available today so uh, um, that's it please be careful with uh, using vet wraps they can be very dangerous and uh, best of luck with healing your pet